All right. So try your hand at governing ancient Sumeria for a 10 year term of office. Okay, so it says right there, 10 years. So if we can survive the 10 years, I think we'll consider that a win. So Hammurabi, I beg to report to you. In year one, zero people starved, that's good. Five came to the city, population is now 100. The city now owns 1,000 acres. You harvested three bushels per acre. The rats ate 200 of the bushels, okay. So that means we had 3,000, the rats ate 200, and now we have 2,800 bushels in store. Land is trading at 18 bushels in, per acre. So I see. So basically, if we were to buy one acre, it would cost us 18 bushels, and that acre would yield three bushels. So it would take six years to break even, and seven years we would start, and year seven we would start seeing sort of a uh, a profit, if you will. The question is, does the harvest rate change per year? Because if we harvest three bushels per acre this year, does that mean we'll harvest three bushels next year? I don't know. Let me just see. Um, I'm looking at the sample run just to see. No, okay, so the, the bushel rate does change per year. Probably based on how many, well, it might be RNG, it might be based on how many people you have working the land. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Open question. Open question. So it's interesting how bushels is both what you are farming as well as essentially used as the currency. So it's bird. Hey, Nux. Yeah, I'm a Robbie. <laughs> Eliminate saying gang got shit on this. All right, so how many, acre, how many acres do you want to buy? We're starting off with a thousand. Could we even afford 200? No, we cannot. Should we buy a hundred more? I don't even know how many people, how many, how, what's the rate of people eating bushels? I don't even, we don't even know this. So there's a lot to figure out here, a lot of unanswered questions. Let's just start off with 100 acres purchasing to add to our land by 10%. See what effects that kind of effects that has. All right, how many bushels do you wish to feed your people? See, this is what the thing I have no clue. How many bushels does one person need over the course of a year? Because we have 100 people. Let's say each person needs 10 bushels, maybe, well, maybe a bushel per month. I don't know. How much is a bushel anyway? <laughs> <laughs> no, the manual, no, didn't really say much. I mean, the manual is basically just, oh, it says the price varies per acre. Uh, no, and there could be a plague too. Rats could destroy your grain. The harvests are variable, so it's all kind of random. It's four packs, thanks again. <laughs> That's all, it really helps us visualize. All right. Well, let's figure this out. If I bought 18 bushels, they each cost... Um, or no, I'm sorry, I bought 100 bushels. That was an 18. So that was right there. That was 1,800 bushels. So we only have 1,000 left, which is actually a problem. Because part of that we're probably going to lose to rats. So uh, let's say 700. It's probably going to be a learning curve for this game. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? Oh. Is there a reason not to plant all of them? It's a thousand acres out of the 1100. How many people have full tummies? All right, it's a long dead fool. Think again, you now have only 300 bushels of grain. Well, how many does grain I have in stock? How does that impact how much seed I can plant? Am I Am I harvesting the seed from the grain to plant the seed? Is that what's suggested? All right, yeah, I'm having trouble understanding how this works. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? So a thousand seems like too much. So I don't know, 500, it's probably gonna be too much. You starve 65 people in one year. Due to this extreme mismanagement, you have not only been impeached and thrown out of office, but you've also been declared national fink. So long for now. 
<laughs> Alright, so that must have been the, the terrible message that Scylla was referring to. It takes green to plant green. Yeah, but I still don't know the proportions. That's the problem. Extreme mismanagement. So of our 100 people, 65 of them died. And that's because how many did I... I fed them 700 bushels for 100 people. So clearly, one person needs more than 7 bushels of grain to subsist on per year. The audience is deaf? What happened? Oh. You're hearing shit? Yeah, I can't hear that for whatever reason. That doesn't... Only admits that to stream, not to... Uh... Oh, there's another one if you survive 10 years. Sorry about that, guys. I can't hear that um, beeping. It's very odd that you can, but I can't. The magic numbers, if and when you want to show them. Yeah, so we have to figure this out. So clearly a person needs more than seven bushels. Probably a lot more because 65 died. So I'm going to assume we had 700 bushels was enough for maybe 35, 35 people. Right? So maybe we can reverse engineer this. Hey, it's you, Haku. Hisui Kohaku. Hisui Kohaku. Yeah, that's probably what happened there. So, well. so apologies, everybody. So, so maybe each person needs 20 bushels of grain a year. Let's use that as our operating principle. So if we're starting off with 100 people, that means we need 2,000 bushels just to survive. So we need to keep 2,000 reserve for, for feeding people. All right, so we're starting off with the same figures that we had for the other run. So instead of buying 100 acres this time, Let's figure this out. If we need 2,000 bushels. We have 2,800. 2,000 needs to feed the people. Probably at least 500 to plant. So maybe we really shouldn't buy that many acres. That gives us 300 bushels left over, and the rats are going to eat some. So maybe we just buy like just enough. I don't know. Let's buy six acres. How many bushels? Okay, let's try 2,000. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? I still don't know how many bushels can plant an acre. Like, they're withholding very key information here. I don't know, 500? Is, is it one bushel per... can plant one acre? I don't know. There's, I have no idea. Okay. Year two, nobody starved. Ten came to the city. Okay, so our population increased. We own six more acres. You harvested four bushels per acre. That doesn't sound great. Well, it's a little bit more than last time. The rats didn't need anybody. I mean, but we have fewer bushels in store. So, I don't know. We, we may have fed them too much. I don't know. So maybe we wasted bushels on people and we should have done more, but... Yeah, we did get information there. So... here Here's going to be an experiment. Let's do 2,000 bushels again, This, but this time we have 110 people. So if nobody starves, then um, then we know we're overfeeding them where we overfed them in year one. And based on how many people starved, maybe we can figure by how much we were in, we were shortage. So I'm going to say we're going to keep 2,000 in store again. Uh, we're going to leave, I guess, 500 again for planting. So actually, no, we can't do that. 400, so 42. So we'll buy like three acres. 2,000 again. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? Uh, five. Well, I can't do... 
Five. Well, I, I don't know what the, the bushel per acre rate is. I'm still missing that information. Okay, ten people starved. Ten people did starve. All right, so I think we've reversed engineered. We have reversed engineered that one person needs 20 bushels a year to survive. So that was good information. Okay. So that's one thing we know. Each person needs 20 bushels. So that we have to work sort of backwards from that calculation every time. So now we have, wow, a lot fewer bushels. Yeah, we really can't buy that many acres. <laughs> well done, Gap. Uh, we, had to, we had to kill 10 people to find out, but we did find out. That's exactly what they needed. All right, so if we have 102 people this year, that means we're going to need 2,040, or I'm sorry. Oh shit, we already don't have enough in store to even feed them, so more people are going to die. This is not going to end well. <laughs> so all the bushels we have in store, we need to use to feed the people. Yep. So we can't afford to buy any acres, definitely. The they're going rate is way too high as well. Oh, okay, they're going to allow us to sell, though. That's good. So we can use the acres we sell to uh, feed the people. Bill Clinton and Andrew Johnson. Yeah, not great. Not great, Rush. Not great. Got impeached. City manager. Alright, so if we need uh, 2040, so we need basically, we need to get 1,000 bushels more. And we're not even going to be able to plant anything. I guess we need a plant, right, to harvest anything? Yeah. How many, and we have a thousand acres, so just to earn a thousand, and they're going for what, 21? Or 24 rather, per store. So we need to sell at least 42 acres. Probably want to sell a little bit more than that, just so we have some for planting. So let's sell 84 acres. Okay. We need 2040 to feel our, our people, and that should leave us. Um, how many bushels in reserve? Well, we just sold 84 times minus. Oh shit! I don't have an. Uh, well, no, no, no. I sh no, no. I should. I should. So we have like 1500. I could have a little bit of excess left over. Oh, I only have oh, I only have 925 acres. Got it. Yeah, see, I still don't know how many bushels it takes to seed per acre. That's a problem. All right, we made it to year four at least. Nobody starved. Five came to the city. We're up to 107 population. We harvested only three bushels per acre though. The rest didn't eat anything. So we do have a lot more bushels now. That's good. Seems like a good time to sell at these high prices. We have made it to year four. Babylonians? 118% unemployment? Oh gosh. Alright, so this year, uh, we have 107 people. So that means we need to feed everybody, we need tw 2140 bushels, which we have enough. So that's fine. The, the rate of buying more acreage does not sound good. So I think I'm not going to buy anything. Maybe we can sell. Make some money. How many acres do we have? 925. So conservatively, if we make three another three bushels per acre, it's going to net us... 2,775. I guess we could sell like 10 acres, maybe. I think, yeah, I think they did say 26 was the highest. So if we sold... Yeah, I think we should sell some land. 
How much to sell? What we could do is just sell the acres now and then buy it back when they're much lower rate, which could be the very next year. How many can we get away with though? So we have to find the break even point between, I mean, short term, it's gonna give us a lot of excess bushels. So I think we should probably sell, maybe like 50. Let's just try 50. How many bushels do you wish to feed your people? We need 2140. Now, how many acres do you wish to plant with seed? So we're down to 875. We should plant all of them. All right, year five, nobody starved. Nine more people came to the city. We're up to 116 population. We own 875 acres. We did get three bushels per acre. No, rats don't eat anything, that's good. All right, so we, now we have a ton of bushels back. Maybe I should have even sold more than 50 acres. And it's trading at 24, but I don't know if I need to get more land, quite honestly. I think we're doing fine as it is. So we're gonna need 23, 20 bushels to feed everybody. I still don't know the bushel, the planting bushel per acre ratio. So undoubtedly we're doing some sort of efficient inefficiency not knowing that number. Um, maybe we should sell a few more. Hopefully we can get this the, the going rate to go down to the teens and buy back up if we need to. You got the bad ending, Iggy? Let's try selling fifty more. All right, bushels to feed is 2320. How many acres? I guess we're gonna 825. Year six, five people. Oh no, horrible plague struck. Half the people died, fuck. Well, that's not really our fault. That's just kind of random, right? Population down to 60. So we probably need less land now. We own 825 acres. We harvested, all right, we got a better harvest rate. We got a ton of bushels left in stock. Yeah, it's a plague, you know, that's out of, out of, out of Hammurabi's control. Land is still steady, 24 bushels an acre. I mean, as long as we have enough food to, so what are you ultimately judged by? How, what your population is at the end and then maybe how many bushels you have in the bank and how many acres you have. I, I wonder how they determine. I mean, as long as we can get to your 10, that'll be fine. So this time we actually need far fewer bushels to feed everybody since half our population died. So we only need 1,200 to feed. We have more than enough bushels. I mean, I, I guess we don't really need to sell anything. Nah, let's just not sell or buy anything. Uh, 1,200. How many acres? I think all of them. But you have only 60 people to tend the fields. Oh. So now, how many, how many, how many fields can one person tend? They're not telling us any information here. All right, let's just keep on decreasing it until they tell us we can plant. Maybe we can reverse engineer this. 750. 550, I could. All right, hang on. So we had 60 people, right? Yeah. So each of them can do somewhere. They can't do 10 acres a piece, but they can do. Yeah, so somewhere between nine and 10, should we say nine and a half acres a person? Oh, I'll tell you how it squared at the end, okay. All right, year seven, nobody starved, four came to the city. So if we can't harvest this, I don't know. If we can't even harvest 600 acres, 
are we doing any is that is it helping at all to have these excess 225 acres we got plenty of bushels in the bank rats didn't need anything the price is going down might be ideal to buy all the land you can by the end oh so it's not looking at how many bushels you have got it well, if that if that if it's judging by how many people starve, that it was a, kind of out of our control that there was a plague. Yeah. Okay. So we definitely want to use that all at the end. Hopefully, the price just keeps on declining. So if we can't harvest these other acres, then I want to get rid of them for now before the price goes lower. But is it, if it's randomized every time, who knows? The price could go back up. But I don't know. Let's take a chance. Uh, so 64. We'll say it's roughly nine and a half per person. We have 64 people. So, ah, uh, we could manage 600 acres. So let's just sell 200. We'll have 625 left. Or no, no, buy, zero. We want to sell 200 acres. And we need, uh, with 64 people, we need 1280 to feed them. How many acres? Uh, so this will actually tell us directly what we're going to do, 625. Oh wow, we could do make 625. So it's more than nine and a half per person. All right, so you're eight. Nobody starved. 14 came to the city. That's good. We harvested three bushels per acre. Oh shit, the rats ate a lot. 2,500 bushels. We have 9,300 bushels now. All right, the price is going down. It's now down to 21. So I think we might need to buy some to harvest more. Yeah, we might need to buy a few more acres here. So let's try... Population is 78. So we want some 60, some roughly there. Let's buy 125 acres if we can. Can we afford that? 125. Yes, I think we can. It's by 125 acres. How many bushels do you wish to feed your people? Uh, we have 78. 1560. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? I think all of them. 750. All right. Nobody starved. Three, got three more people. We now have 750 acres. Uh, land is turning at 22 bushels. Damn, price went up. So, hey, Glitch. Low-level adventurers for the rats. I can kill the rats. All right, so if we have 81 people, we're going to need 1620 for feeding. Right? Oh, we can't even farm that much, but maybe it doesn't matter as long as we have more acreage. So at 22 bushels, and we're going to have to... So we have to do like, yeah, we have to do a little bit of an algebra equation here. I think what we need to say is like... Uh, hang on here. So X is going to equal how many acres we... Or the price for the acreage, I think. And that's going to depend on 55, 87, minus 1620 for feeding. We only got one bushel per acre? That sucked, by the way. That was a shitty harvest. Wow. Alright, so that's how many bushels we have left over. And then we have to divide that by 20. Two, but oh, but it depends on how many we have total, right? Right. So we have 750 now, and let's just say roughly a thousand more, we'll say. So that's going to give us, I believe, a thousand in reserve. And what did we say it was 1620? So you're basically talking 2620. So let's just round that off and say. We have about 3,000 bushels to buy land with, right? So 
23,000 divided by 22 means we can afford 136 acres. 136 plus 750 means 886 left over. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, let's try that. How many bushels do you wish to feed your people? Uh, that was 1620. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? I think all of them, so 750 plus. I'm not gonna get a very good rating, by the way, because we're gonna end up with fewer acres than we start with. 886. But you only have 81 people to tend the field, so oh, shit. Right, so they can't even manage 800. Oh, they can. Okay. Year 10, nobody starved. 11 came to the city. The population is now 92. We own a lot more acreage. We harvested. Okay, we got a good harvest rate, at least. Fucking rats. Pro 288 bushels in store. So we just have to survive this final year, right? And the price did go down a little bit, which is nice. I don't think we have a whole lot of wiggle room now, though. We have 92 people, so they're going to need to be eating 1840 bushels. Hey, how's it going, Zahaku? An army of cats, yes. So, 4288 minus 1840 is, gives us 2448 in excess. We're going to need maybe about, we'll say, 1000 to plant with, which gives us 1448. And then if we divide that by 20, we can afford maybe 72, eh, roughly 72 acres. Although we're not going to have enough people to plant them, but whatever. Actually, we might. Well, m most of them anyway. Alright, how many bushels? We need 1840. Yeah. How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? Uh, well, we have right now. Nine hundred and fifty-eight, but only ninety-two people. So probably nine hundred and twenty is the most. But let's try this. Uh, nine thirty, twenty-five, nine twenty. Yeah, so it's a little less than ten acres per person. Nine fifteen. All right. Uh, I beg to report to you in year eleven. Nobody starved. Fourteen came to the city. We now have one hundred six population. We own nine hundred fifty-eight acres. We're not taking more bushels. Okay, we ended up with way too many bushels back, but there's nothing we could do because those were going to be harvested anyway. In your 10-year term of office, 0.9% of the population starved per year on the average. That is a total of 10 people died. You start with 10 acres per person and ended with 9 acres per person, so that's yeah, not very good. Your performance could have been somewhat better, but really wasn't too bad at all. Okay, 35 people would like to see you assassinated, but we all have our trivial problems, so long for now. All right, so that was uh, Hammurabi. I think um, if it hadn't been for that plague, we would have done, I think, a lot better. The fact that the game tells us it wasn't too bad at all as a first, or I guess a second run, that's not too shabby. Um, we also killed 10 people completely unnecessarily in the first year, just because I had to find out, or the second year, because I had to find out what their consumption rate was. So, interesting. So that's your, I guess, one of the first business simulations and definitely a more complex uh, simulation than we saw with Fur Trader, which is the other sort of economic trading game. Uh, this one has, I mean, they both have some element of RNG, you know, how much the rats eat the wheat and how many, you know, if you get a plague or not. And I guess in Fur Trader, if you could get attacked by uh, Native Americans and things. But um, this one definitely had a lot more year to year management and stuff, which made it. Uh, a lot more interesting, I think.